Hey, it's Tim from Happy Mag, and we're gonna show you a brand new audio interface from Avid, the Mbox Studio. We're gonna test this out in the studio and see how it goes with its ins and outs, its workflow, its useful modern features, and we're gonna see if this is for you. If you don't know Avid, they make one of the industry standard doors, Pro Tools, as well as making audio interfaces like the HDIO, which is seen in multiple recording studios around the world, and the new Pro Tools Carbon. This latest interface, the Mbox Studio, fuses the world of home and professional studios. It's kind of like the Hulk version of the original Mbox, both in its size and its connection. The original Mbox was a game-changing audio interface for home recording, and this might just be that for the modern musician. There's some brilliant features like a reamper and a built-in tuner that uses the onboard talkback mic, and Bluetooth in and out. You can record your phone like a synth app and send that to that, or you can send it from here to your car for the car test. Everything is controlled by an array of easy to use buttons and two large rotary knobs. The left side is for the inputs, the right side is for the outputs. It comes packed with software as well. It's got Pro Tools Studio, that's the industry standard version of Pro Tools, and it's got the Mbox Control app, where you can dive deeper into its flexibility. I've loaded up a beat by Jonty from one of our Somewhere Sound sample packs. I'm gonna record an electric guitar in, then I'm gonna send that out to a guitar amp and record that. And then I'm gonna connect Bluetooth with my phone and use a Moog synth app to layer something. Then I'm also gonna clap into the talkback mic because you can use that as an input. Let's see how this goes in the studio. The left side is for the inputs, right side is for the outputs. With this encoder knob, you can change the gain and scroll through the inputs. You can change the inputs here, mic, line, instrument. You've got phantom power, there's your Bluetooth. You can link channels and both the gain links as well. You've got a 10 dB pad and you've got your impedance as well. You have to hold down the Bluetooth until it flashes, and then you can see it flashing, ready to pair. Then you've got the Mbox Control Show and Hide button, the tuner, doot. Then you've got the link of the main and the alt buttons. Press the encoder down to change the output, or you can work them independently. You've got your Bluetooth output. Again, hold it down to pair with something. You've got your mono, mute, dim, and talkback microphone. Check, one, two. You've got your headphone one level here and headphone two level there. There's input one, input two. There's your reamper. Here's your inputs three and four. There's your line in five and six, and here's your line in seven and eight that also work as effects returns. There's your effects sends one and two. Here's your expression or foot switch one and two, and your Kensington lock to lock it up. Here's your monitor outs, main left and right, alt left and right. There's your MIDI in, your MIDI out, your spit if in and out, and your optical in and out. That's eight at up to eight channels. USB-C, power, power. 
The Mbox Studio has the modern musician in mind. With its size, flexibility, its ins and outs, and things like the built-in reamper and tuner, Avid has obviously done their research on how modern musicians work. It's a lot bigger than other audio interfaces in its price range, but I'm okay with that because it means more connections like the eight analog inputs, the effects loops, and the outputs. Not to mention that it kind of acts as a monitor controller, which is really handy for a studio hub, and it's also got a nice angle to it. It was so easy for me to lay down some guitar, reamp it, connect my iPhone synth, and clap into the TalkMac mic and get a musical idea down. That was great without being bogged down in technology. I will say that I wish the reamper had its own software labeling as I had to trawl through Pro Tools to find out which output it was. It's output seven. If you've been craving to get musical ideas down quicker, this is for you. I can see three people in a studio all being recorded at once, connecting all their devices via Bluetooth to share ideas and having enough headphones and mics set up to make the session run smoothly with this. I also don't know why, but I absolutely love this feature of a button that's dedicated to showing and hiding the Mbox control software. It just worked so well. The Mbox Studio comes at $1,599 Australian dollars and you can get it from any of your favorite music shops. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more gear that we find exciting.